the company one who acquires the other company will become the acquirer company the other company will become the target company here in the question first we need to understand what we need to understand about the company who which is the acquirer company and which is the target company the annual profit after tax profit after tax is given 50 lakh is the profit after tax and the market value of shares is 50 rupees Hello everybody I'm your Divya ma'am assistant professor from Department of Commerce and Management lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College Mysuru the Temple of Excellence a warm welcome to you all on session 2 on your unit 4 merger and acquisition moving forward the topic for today's discussion concepts and problem so my dear students in the last class we have discussed about the theoretical concepts of merger and acquisition types of merger and acquisition and the financial evaluation of merger and acquisition in today's class let us look into some practical problems moving forward we need to understand one thing in our merger and acquisition that is calculation of price to exchange ratio and calculation of exchange ratio so first we need to understand how we need to calculate the price to earning ratio and we need to calculate the exchange ratio in today's class we look after the problems on our price to earning ratio so price to earning ratio what is the formula market value per share divided by eps so to calculate that eps we have another formula profit after tax divided by total number of shares so the exchange ratio formula is target share price divided by acquirer share price my dear students you all need to understand this the company one who acquires the other company will become the acquirer company the other company will become the target company suppose a and b company is there b company is been sold it's been acquired by a company so a company will become what acquirer and b company will become what target company so you need to understand this concepts first and and in this today's class we'll be discussing the problems on price to earning ratio so you all have to understand the formula of price to earning ratio that is once again i'll repeat market value per share divided by eps so for better clarity let us take up the problems and understand moving forward problem number 1 x company limited is having 20000 equity shares of rupees 50 each what is the market price per share 50 rupees is the market price per share so and its annual profit after tax profit after tax is how many rupees 10 lakh is the profit after tax calculate the price to earning ratio of the company so what is given in the question in the question market price is given and the total number of equity shares are given in the question but what we need to calculate price to earning ratio what is the formula for price to earning ratio market value per share but eps is not given in the question earning per share is not given in the question so we need to calculate the earning per share and then substitute to the formula and check out the answer moving forward market price is given 50 rupees but eps is not given to calculate eps what is the formula profit after tax divided by number of share profit after tax is given in the question 10 lakh is the profit after tax and the total number of share is how many 20000 equity shares so if you substitute 50 per share so eps is known to us now market value of per share is known to us market value per share is known to us let's substitute the values to the formula and check out the answer it is 1 times so we are expressing it in times price to earning ratio is expressed in times moving forward problem number 2 pepsi company is acquiring coca cola company pepsi will pay rupees 10 to the shareholders of coca cola company existing number of shares is 
with the Pepsi company, thousand share. What is the Pepsi company share? Number of share, thousand share. And Coca Cola's is how many? 500 shares. The net profit after tax. Profit after tax of Pepsi company is how much? 2 lakh. And the market value of share is 10 rupees each. Market price per share is 10 rupees each. Calculate the post merger number of shares and the PE ratio of Pepsi company. Here in the question, first we need to understand what? We need to understand about the company who which is the acquirer company and which is the target company acquirer company pepsi company is acquiring so pepsi is a acquirer company and coca cola is what a target company pepsi company is acquiring coca cola company so now we need to calculate what after the merger and acquisition happen after the acquiring of pepsi company and the coca cola company so once the acquiring happens what is the number of shares total number of shares we need to calculate that post merger number of shares we need to calculate and then we need to calculate price to earning ratio of pepsi company so let us look at that calculation of post merger number of shares pepsi company how many shares we have thousand shares coca cola 500 share 500 of rupees how many market price per share or the value of that particular share is 10 rupees per share so pepsi company thousand is the number of shares and the coca cola companies 500 share into 10 rupees it is 5000 so total number of shares 1000 plus 5000 6000 is the total number of shares that have after the merger has happened now let us calculate the eps why EPS has to be calculated? Because in the question, we need to calculate PE ratio. To calculate PE ratio, what is required? In order to calculate that, market value per share is known to us. What is market value? 10 rupees is the market price per share. But we doesn't know EPS. In order to calculate the EPS, what is the formula? Profit after tax divided by total number of shares. What is profit after tax? 2 lakh. And what is the number of share? We are only calculating Pepsi companies. What we are calculating? Pepsi companies PE ratio. So, we need to consider only Pepsi companies number of shares. What is the Pepsi companies number of shares? That we have is 1000 shares. So, 1000 profit after tax divided by 1000 it is 200 so price to earning ratio we are substituting the values as per the formula the answer we got is 0.05 times so for the better clarity on the problem so i'll take up one more problem and understand in a better way moving forward Problem 3, Mysore Limited is going to acquire Bangalore Limited. So, Mysore Company is what? Mysore Company, Mysore Limited is an acquirer company. Bangalore is a target company. So, the shareholders of Bangalore Limited issues 0.8 per share of Mysore Limited. So, while merger is happening, they are issued at how many? 0.8 per share. So, the number of shares in a Mysore Limited is how many? 2,50,000. But Bangalore Limited has how many shares? The Bangalore Limited has 1,75,000 shares. The annual profit after tax, profit after tax is given. 50 lakh is the profit after tax and the market value of shares is 50 rupees. Calculate the post merger of shares and the price to earning ratio. Now let us calculate the calculation of post merger number of shares. So Mysore Limited we have how many? 2,50,000 and the Bangalore Limited we have 1,75,000. It is issued at 0.8. 1,40,000 will be the number of shares. Bangalore Limited total number of share will be how much? 2 lakh plus 1,40,000. It is 3,90,000. Now we need to calculate the price to earnings ratio. What's the formula? Market value of shares or the market price of the particular share divided by EPS earnings per share. So EPS is not given in the question. We need to calculate how we have calculated in the previous problem. Uh, profit after tax divided by number of equity share. What is profit after tax? Profit after tax is 
50 lakh and what is the number of shares that we have is 2 lakh 50,000 when we divide it we get 20 when you substitute the value the answer you get is 2.5 times so this is how we calculate price to earnings ratio moving forward so that's it for today's class in next class we'll be taking up the problems on exchange ratio on that we'll be calculating valuation based on net assets method valuation based on eps and the calculation of your market price so stay tuned until that smile is the biggest jewel you can wear keep smiling people thank you